congratulations on the film, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I've only literally stopped watching it about half an hour ago, and I've just been bugging my parents with the do 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 for about half an hour since. So thank it's you for that. It's a real earworm. Very... It is an earworm. It is an earworm. Um, there's lots of things I love about this film, but I wanted to ask you all first about the comedic genius that is Haley Joel Osment. I didn't think I would say that sentence ever, but I wanted to throw that into the room and you can tell me what you thought about that. And Alison, maybe you can tell me why you settled on on him because he is absolutely is an absolute settled good on. Thing. Let me tell you yeah. something, Scott. We wrote that role with Haley in mind. Like, wow, okay, I actually worked with Haley like. 12 years ago on a small indie movie where we played brother and sister. He's the sweetest guy. He's obviously incredibly talented. And recently he pops up in a ton of comedic things. I think we were just watching him on What We Do in the Shadows, mm -hmm. Dave and I were, and we were like, oh my God, that's who we're gonna picture while we're writing this brother role. And then when we got on set, he just made every moment pop. I feel like anytime we were trying to figure out how to end yeah. a scene, put a button on a scene, we'd be like, where's Haley? Haley, could you run back through? Uh, but he's so, I think because he's such a talented actor, and I could say this about everyone in the movie, it was like, we weren't just like, let's cast the like comedians. You know, it was like, we want everybody that can do it all. And Haley brings a great humanity to that character, even though he's like the goof off brother. Yeah. I love the fact that we can, we obviously a lot of people talk about Brendan Fraser and his, his, Brendan Assant, whatever you want to call it. And he mentions one of his best underrated films last from the past, which I love. I mean, and I thought that again, was a good moment. <laughs> you know, we shot this movie a year and a half ago. We wrote it two years ago. It's like we couldn't have predicted the Brendan Assant. Um, Brendan But it's line, it's, it's, it aligned. It aligned, it aligned. Uh, Jay and Kiersey, I mean, you're part of the trifecta uh, that's at the head of this uh, movie. What was it about these characters and working with Alison and also with Dave that that made you want to sign on. And maybe Alison, you can tell me what it was about these two that, that you and Dave loved so much. You go, guy. <laughs> Hit him with it. Got it. Uh -oh. You got uh, it. Yo, I love the idea of this guy who was just, uh, who always had this like plan for his life and knew what he wanted. And now he's on the road to those things. And, you know, he's about to get engaged. And then all of a sudden, like, in this chant, what we think is a chance, like bumping into uh, with his ex, which is Ali, uh, all of a sudden, you know, it kind of throws him off and sends him down this what if path. And am I doing the right thing by marrying Cassidy? And like, I, I don't know, there was just something about that that I thought was just really interesting. I am such a like made a decision, sticking to it, going, going forward uh, kind of person. And to like be able to play that, and especially with this this cast and with Dave at the helm of this thing, like it was just, you know, an, a, an experience I wouldn't want to miss. Um, Kirstie's like, I don't know, they trapped me. Uh, I like <laughs> them a lot. <laughs> um, no, I always wanted to do a rom-com and I don't know, it just seemed really fitting to do it with Dave and Allison. I had met Dave very briefly um, oh, yeah. a few years Neighbors ago. Neighbors too? I don't even know if we crossed paths on Neighbors 2. I randomly had like a brunch with Dave and James years what? ago. I don't know how I like, didn't do this. I barely remember it. It was just like, I don't even know why. It like I think it's because we had done Easy. Somebody, oh, sure. And oh, yeah. so we had done this anthology mm. series. So me and Dave were never in the same episodes, but we all heard about each other. So I knew from Joe Swanberg, the creator of the show, that <clears throat> Dave was amazing and I loved the character of Cassidy because although there's conflict amongst us, it's not like a revenge or that we're trying to necessarily fight with each other. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We both just really care about the same person and yeah. that happens. Uh, yeah. With my last couple of seconds, I'm gonna ask you very quickly one word answers because I need to get these things out. Alison Brie, community movie, I'm very excited. How excited are you? Very, yeah. Good. <laughs> Jay Ellis. I was gonna say that's what word. I want. I want to know. I want to know. Jay Ellis, one point five billion dollars, Top Gun, Oscars. How you feeling? One word. Crazy. <laughs> uh, and finally, Kiersey Clemens, your reaction to seeing Michael Keaton back in the bat suit on the Flash. Didn't. <laughs> Oh, I, I wasn't just, there. I thought it was going to be epic Not. or something. Oh, we're, all, we're all so excited. I feel like we disappointed you. Yeah, yes. sorry. Should we do another you round? Did. Should we do one more yeah. round? Sorry, they never sorry. give me enough time to like get into get into these details. 
yeah. about all these things. Never mind. It's all good. Guys, congratulations on the film. Thank you so much for your time. Pleasure talking to you. Thanks, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!